professional trading now um obviously as you can see down in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to trade the range break 100 index now for range break um in this video i'm going to teach you all you need to know and um how to trade this range break without an indicator of some sort just the basic free strategy now this is like um an introduction to this so i want you to hang in there and just enjoy what um well what i'll be showing you today okay so first off now um the ring break 100 index actually lately since you you may keep it up to this channel you understand that we've done a lot of work on the woman crash both 1000 and the 500 and then the volatility 75 touched a little on volatility 25 and now i'm going to be showing you um an intro on ring break 1000 index now on this one i'm not going to be showing you giving you an indicator in this video i'm going to be showing you how to trade this without an indicator so let that trade in so as you can see now when i started this video it was negative well actually i'm in a trade right now so i'm going to leave this trade throughout this video because i'm trying to show you something and make a point here now obviously as you can see it's fluctuating it was it was blue earlier i was like i was on the positive side uh now it's red negative and i'm not really shaken about this whatever it's um it's, it's position is for now because i'm i'm in the market to trade for a longer time and i'm ready to pick out on one of these spikes now for those of us that no range break or let me just assume none of us have uh, know about the range break 100 index so now this is a um a very steady market yeah i'll say it so because most of you might not agree with me but to me it's a steady market due to the fact that it's quite predictable and um i think it's one of the most steady market as a bit predictable after the big man crash market with just the understanding of the um support level and the resistant level now the market is in the form as you can see um quite um precise so it's a form where it keeps trading just like on little amounts with um like if you're judging with these each cubes and um, how many um what of these cubes let's assume each of these box here this little box here contains um this is the, 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 the differences in, in between them are just 20 dollar so now this could take about um 50 dollar now so the whole of this trade here is about 50 dollar and and the market is going to keep going up and down and up and down it's just that little um range it's not going to change obviously now i'm going to keep doing that until it decides to break out that's where the name of this trading comes in so you can decide to like uh it broke out and came down now once it breaks into okay it broke out and came down continue to train a little broke out again continue to train and then it went up now the thing is about this market is that whenever it's um in a sub certain support level now where it breaks out and resumes um the certain support level it's called it's called a break resumption but when it breaks and decide, like now all the breakouts that happened within this place now are called uh, they are all break resumptions but when it breaks out below the, the support level and then uh, and decides to form a form of resistance and uh, call like it's, it's a different it's a different case in um in this one so like i said um let's look okay, let's do a landscape mode okay so yeah so let me show you something now um with this now i'm totally zoomed out so we can see that i'm not gonna go far so we can see that there was this is our support and resistance level so from this point it was um a resistant level from here it gave us a support level and then at this point again a resistant level came in and now a support level and with that kind of trend we can accept that the market is still in a support level now for those that studied and understand the support and resistance level which i've done a lot of videos on it previously you understand that this market according to my prediction is going to definitely break out with the next um breakout candle that's going to be coming in that's why i'm in this market not to trade this little because if i can try to leave the market now due to the fact that i'm in profit as it stands but i want to stay in this market 
um well for the let's say for the um for the long term just to trade the higher part of the market now right now i'm in profit of seven dollar which i don't mind but i'm like i said earlier um this market is going to form out it's going to fall out with a red um a big red candle that's going to go down and that's what I, I plan on i intend on taking now i don't know if this um going to happen while this video is still on i'm probably going to take longer but just so you know this um there's a certain trend to this now let me show you another simple secret on the relative break on um, the range break 100 index now if you can observe lately you will notice that after each red um strike candle comes a green one it maintains that order so let me show you let me let's, let's do a recall so from here you can see this is a green um breakout candle after the whole stuff here the next thing that comes in is a red one a little happened a red one came in now you'll be sure that the next one to come in will be green no matter it doesn't matter the length it might be a bit, very short length a very longer length but once a breakout happens it's going to be on a green one it maintain green and definitely knowing that the next one will be a red two green again now at this point after this two green there's a little red so which gives us a green next now you need to take note of this little little um uh differences let me zoom in so you can see there is a li after this red there is one green here green here there's a little red before the next green now if you did not notice this little red here which is almost on on um, which is almost very, very noticeable if you didn't notice it you would have probably predicted this to be a red which would have been wrong and now it's a green and now we have a red and with that same flow of the market going red green red green red green green red green red at each breakout point you can see that my prediction here comes in where um okay, let's do it this way this is a red a green a red coming down so you can see this is how the market is going red green red and we have a green here so i'm quite sure since the market has not given me another green i'm very sure that whatever is going to be coming out from here will be a red so that's what i intend on staying in the market for not for the um not for this that's coming in but for those that want to trade, um, trade on the safe side yes you can trade this and you know just take your little little profits from here but like i said it's very risky market and it's quite stable well, on the next video, I'm going to be showing you um, an indicator that's going to be used to predict uh, this breakout point. For those that don't really understand the relative um, the support level and resistance level, which you need to understand if you want to be a professional forex trader. So that's basically all on this video. Um, well, I I thought it was going to happen while we were still having this video, but it hasn't happened. And as you can see, I'm in negative for now, and we'll get back to the positive. And going to keep doing that until my red candle comes in just like predicted i wish i could stay in to show you that but well i think that's basically all on this video i don't want to waste your time but um i'm going to be doing another video on relative breakouts with indicators and strategies and all that that you'll be needing so bye for now and um don't forget to subscribe like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions of some sort i'll be attending to all questions real soon so um that's all on this video bye for now and see you next time